Hello everyone, Silent here and welcome back to another Bedrock Edition tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to build an absolutely dead simple frog light farm in your Bedrock Edition worlds. This is going to be a 1.19 farm for when the frogs are officially introduced. This farm is incredibly simple and it uses the magma cube spawner that you can find in the bastions in the nether. Frogs also aren't that hard to transport to the nether either. So overall, it is going to be super easy to get yourself a ton of frog lights in your Minecraft worlds. This farm doesn't use any redstone at all and it has no moving parts. It's also completely AFK and playerless as well. And I think it should work on Java edition too, but currently frogs are not introduced on Java. So it's kind of hard to tell. This farm produces around 1800 frog lights per hour and about 350 magma cream per hour and that is about the maximum rates that you'll ever get using a single magma cube spawner and this farm is so dead simple I don't even know how you would make it simpler so there is that this is basically like I guess the end all be all frog light farm for bedrock edition at the least. So how exactly does this farm work? Well, the magma cube spawner spawns a bunch of magma cubes and all of these guys are attracted by the iron golem right here. All sizes of the magma cubes will jump through the powdered snow that's in the floor right here. Once the large and medium cubes are broken down into the small ones, your frogs down here at the bottom are allowed to eat them and then all of your frog lights just get picked up by a couple of hoppers. And as you can see, you get a pretty good amount of frog lights. You get all different types of this farm and depending on what frogs you use you can get the verdant the ochre and of course the pearlescent frog lights as well in case it wasn't obvious the frogs are not currently in vanilla minecraft they are only in the betas they will be included in 1.19 the wild update which should be releasing sometime mid 2022 i'm making this tutorial right now so that all you guys playing in the betas and snapshots will have a nice farm to use and then of course when 1.19 releases this farm will already be out and you guys can build it basically immediately you can even build it before 1.19 releases and then just like have it ready to go that way you get frog lights immediately so as you know, there are three different types of frogs in the game. The green ones, the white ones, and the orange ones. Each one of these frogs will drop a different frog light when they eat a baby magma cube. The orange ones will drop the ochre frog light. The green ones will drop the verdant frog light. And the white ones will drop the pearlescent frog light. So you get these frogs from hatching tadpoles in different biomes. So hot biomes will give you the white frogs, cold biomes will give you the green frogs, and everything else will give you the orange frogs. If you don't know anything about the frog lights, then you can check out the video that's linked in the upper right. I did a whole bunch of testing and just basically went over all the features of frog lights. So you can learn everything that you need to about these in that video. And let's hop into the tutorial, shall we? First things first, there is a materials list down in the description of the video. That way you know absolutely everything that you need to build this with. And the first step of this build is to find yourself a treasure bastion, one with a magma cube spawner at the bottom of it. And you're going to need to conquer and take over the bastion. Now, the long and short of how to do that is basically, don't die. Maybe place down a lot of torches, because uh, these guys are mean. Basically, everything here is mean and wants to kill you. Once you've cleared out some of the Bastion, we need to disable the Magma Cube Spawner. So we need to basically make a 9x9 nine nine diamond of glass blocks going all the way around this thing, going one block above and one block below the spawner. So branch out by four blocks in every direction, basically, and then fill in all of these areas, and that will prevent Magma Cubes from spawning entirely. You can't just light this thing up with torches because Magma Cubes do not care about light. Once you have the 9x9 of glass placed in, we need to start removing some of this lava. So we're going to go ahead and basically just fill in all of the lava with some solid blocks or with sand or whatever you like. And now that it's a bit more peaceful in here, we need to dig down this area by 10 blocks. So we need to go 10 blocks underneath this spawner. This layer of glass already counts as 1, so that would be 2, 3, 4, 5... And then six, seven, eight, nine, and finally ten. So basically, you want to dig down everywhere that has a glass block above it, plus one going out on the edges. So as you can see, everywhere that's got a glass block, we've gone straight down, and then plus one. So this is an 11 by 11 diamond hole, and you want to put glass blocks on the floor of it. That way, nothing spawns down here as well. 
By the way, we're digging this down by 10 blocks, that way all the magma cubes fall out of range of our spawner, and that way we get some slightly better rates from the farm. Before we jump down in the hole and finish up the farm, we need to build a wall surrounding the spawner to keep everything out of the farm and to keep all the mammoth cubes inside the farm. So basically, everywhere that you have a block, just go all the way up by two blocks above your little glass diamond that we installed earlier. So do this going all the way around your pit. Once all the walls are in place, go ahead and put a roof above the build as well to contain all the cubes and keep everything else out of the farm. The roof needs to be one block above all of the walls and that should equal a three block gap between the spawner and the ceiling. Now is probably a good time to build a temporary staircase going down into the kill chamber area. This way you have just easier access to it. So now it is time to build the kill chamber at the lower part of the farm. So stand in the middle of the farm and face the center of the bastion where you have your temporary staircase. We're going to go ahead and put in a line of five solid blocks right here going across and then go ahead and dig out a three by three of blocks right here in the middle. We need to dig this down by a total of four and basically we're just going to line this with some solid blocks that we know are part of the build. That way we can easily tell what's what. So so go ahead and dig this down by four blocks. Once you've dug this down by four blocks, go ahead and put in a line of three hoppers facing towards the middle right there. Three hoppers going into the sides of all of those, and then three hoppers on the opposite side like so. We want some carpets above all of them, and then we're going to place in a powdered snow a little bit later. But for the time being, go ahead and break out these three blocks, and we also need to kind of clear out some room on this side as well. This is where you're going to be accessing your chest, which is going to be going right there, and we're also going to have some glass blocks in this area so you can actually see all of your frogs. Of course, you need a way to actually get into this area so go ahead and dig yourself a new staircase as well watch out for lava because it is all over the bastions once you've got yourself a new staircase out of here we need to go ahead and raise the roof in this area by several blocks you can mine it all the way up if you want to we just need enough room for an iron golem to fit in here so just mine out a little bit of room until you have a comfortable amount of working space and you can actually move around freely so once you have a little bit of room cleared out in here, we need to break out a 3x3 three three of blocks right here and then mine this all the way forwards until you have a clear line of sight and access into your kill chamber area. We're going to put some lower slabs on the bottom right here and some upper slabs on the top side and then three trap doors right in the middle and flick those up so that they are vertical. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a lower slab and put it right here in this area. Go ahead and encase this in some glass blocks as as well and now we need a solid block above that a piece of rail get yourself a minecart above that and now we need to summon in an iron golem so we simply need four iron blocks and a pumpkin right there like so and then go ahead and break out that solid block that should fall directly straight downwards and now your iron golem is in place this guy is going to attract all the mama cubes they'll jump be able to see his eyes and then they'll simply run directly into the kill chamber if you don't want to use an iron golem then you don't need to at all you the player can simply stand right here and you can afk here you'll never get damaged by the magma cubes and this is actually a safe afk spot just make sure that you don't flick these trap doors because then you can walk right in there and that would be a pretty bad time the main pro of the iron golem is that the magma cubes will be constantly attracted into your kill chamber no matter where you're at so you can go off and do some other things in the area and any magma cubes that are in the farm spawning will get put into the kill chamber and it'll basically be automatic which is great and now for the final touch of the farm we need to go ahead and put in nine pieces of powdered snow all across this area right here and you might even want to put a couple pieces of glass right there as well just so that you can see all the tall magma cubes and that basically is all there is to the farm besides one key thing the frogs so and now it is time for the second part of the tutorial where we talk about how to get frogs to the nether and what type of frogs that you need 
Currently, transporting a frog isn't really all that easy, but you can get them into a boat, and of course you can also use a lead on a frog as well, and you can take them through nether portals like that if you want to. Currently in the betas that I'm playing in, there is no bucket of frogs, so you can't pick up a frog in a bucket. If they do add buckets of frog, which I hope that they do, then moving frogs to the nether is going to be super easy. Basically, get the frog that you want, pick it up in a bucket, and then you can place it down in the farm. No issues. Something that is worth mentioning is that if you place down a bucket of tadpole in the nether, the water will go away, but you can spam these guys with their food of choice, and if you're quick enough, you can actually grow them up into an adult frog before they suffocate and die. So this is a quick way to get the white frogs in the nether. The nether is a hot biome, so any tadpoles that grow up in the nether will be the white frogs. So if you want to get the pearlescent frog lights, this is a super easy way of doing things. In total, you're going to need about 21 frogs in your farm in order to keep up with the amount of magma cubes. I'd recommend doing 7 orange, 7 green, and 7 white frogs. That way you get an even split of all of the different frog lights from the farm. So go ahead and fill this thing up with 21 or more frogs, and that'll be all there is to it. You can drop them right through the powdered snow. They don't take any damage or die from it. Two final touches for the inside of the farm, and go ahead and place a torch on the middle of this area just to prevent piglins or whatever from spawning on these blocks. And then we want to go ahead and remove a couple extra of these solid blocks right here, just so that the large mamma cubes can jump straight into the kill chamber and not get nudged around or caught on any of those blocks. Once you've got everything set up correctly and you're confident about the build, go ahead and break into your spawning room and you need to start removing some of this glass. Now, as soon as you start removing glass, you're going to get mamma cube spawning, so be very, very careful. We're going to start from the backside and start from the bottom and then just start removing them going upwards, basically. Now, you want to do this kind of quickly. Don't remove, like, the top layer going down because then you'll have mamma cube spawn on top of this and start attacking you. You want to remove it from the bottom going up that way when they spawn they instantly fall down into your kill chamber and once all of your glass is removed remove any extra blocks that you got in there and seal up the wall go ahead and put a torch right above the middle of the farm and that'll prevent any piglins or whatever from spawning on top of your spawner and as soon as you get some magma cube spawning in your farm they're gonna fall straight down and be attracted to your iron golem they're then gonna get frozen in the powdered snow break into these small varieties and get eaten up by all of your frogs. All of your items will be collected in the chest right here, and you can do whatever you want in the area, and the farm will still work perfectly fine. Keep in mind that you need to be within 16 blocks of that spawner for it to actually spawn magma cubes. So you might want to build up like a little mini basin here or something. Maybe get a furnace array, an enchanter. I don't know, you do you. Just find something else to do because you don't need to stand there for the farm to work. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more 1.18 and 1.19 tutorials, then of course consider subscribing. That way you don't miss any. And maybe even leave a like on the video as it helps out the video and the channel a ton. Either way, thank you ever so much for watching. I'll see you guys down in the comment section and in the next one. And then there was silence.